day people, this is Sharpino here, welcome you guys to episode number 45 of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Mono Dark Shiny Lark. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure to look button down below for us because as always the support is greatly appreciated. In last episode you guys, we did take on Cyrus and Lysander. The Halo of Team Galactic from the Sinnoh region, and the Halo of the Team Flare from the Kalos region. Unfortunately, we do lose a life last episode, but thankfully everyone is still intact. No one has died in the Team Rocket Castle. So today, let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we are rocking with today for you guys. We got Switchblade the Bishop, Callum the Scrafty, Candy Cane our starter, the Incineral, Ravenclaw the Honge Crow, Mitogen the Muck, and Cindy the Crocodile. All dark, all shiny, all rare and to go. So let's go. So, the reason why I healed up everyone uh, just before I went to this room is because I knew a cutscene was about to happen here. So I wanted to make sure that everyone was A-OK. -okay, because I'm pretty sure this is where Getis appears. Shapita, look! The hidden door behind the mirror is unlocked. And now we can use the warp panel. I knew you could do it, Shapita. Here, let me heal your Pokemon first. Okay, well she heals her Pokemon. I didn't know if she would do it, but I just wanted to make sure. Now, let's go! Okay, so... And here is Getus. Well, now, what do we have here? I came out wondering what the commotion is, only to find the door to the center of the castle ajar, and intruders running wild. It seems those team leaders from other worlds are not nearly as useful as I had hoped. Who are you? Where is my mother? You haven't harmed her, have you? Mother, you say? I see. So you're the daughter of the president. My name is Getus. I am representing Team Plasma. I too was summoned from another world much like the other leaders you defeated. There is no need to worry though. You will find the president up ahead blissfully asleep and dreaming. Mother! Ah, not so fast. Please get out of my way! Unfortunately, I cannot let you go beyond this point. You see, I have been thinking long and hard about the reason I've been sent to this world, and now I believe I finally have the answer. My purpose is to travel between the worlds, freeing all Pokemon from foolish people, and at the same time consolidate all the power in all the worlds to myself. In order to achieve this beautiful ideal, however, I have need of a useful pawn. And that man, the leader of Team Rocket, is a man of pure evil. If I can make good use of him and set him up as a king, I shall be able to reign supreme above all existence. So he's basically using the same strategy he used for N in black and white. And how'd that turn out, get us? Hmm? I found that humans with their predictable ambitions are easier to use and control than a freak without a human heart. It wouldn't do all to have you get in his way, especially when I must establish him as my king. And as usual, my step up says, Bitch, no I'm not. Must you insist on interfering with my plans? Very well then. All obstacles to my ambitions must be removed. Okay, here we go. This is gonna get rough, Kofagrigus. Cool, not Galarian, but he's still pretty cool. Okay. So, level 66. Okay, these levels. Now, a lot of people have been saying to me, Sharpie, how come your Pokemon are a little bit higher level? Put it to you this way, guys. Even though my Pokemon are high level as they are, I'm still losing Pokemon. And I'll explain to you guys why. Because I am running a mono dark team here. That's why. So now we've got the mummy ability not in a focus. So we can now be flinched. Okay. Um, not the worst thing. Uh, a Boofalant. Okay. Now, I do know that Boofalant does get access to some fighting type. I'm pretty sure. It gets access to either, I think it gets access to Mega Horn, which is super effective, Earthquake. So there's quite a few moves it can have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lead things off here with our Mutant. Now, even though I did just say that I do know it has access to Earthquake, I need to scout. I need to make sure that I am preparing for Earthquake here. I'm pretty sure it does, but I just want to just use this one turn to see if it in fact this Boofalan does have Earthquake. For some reason we are speed though, which I'm very perplexed. How does a Mutagen outspeed a Boofalant? Head charge. And we dodge. 
So he doesn't even have that. Oh, it's a speed tie. It was a speed tie. Wow. Okay, so that's why we asked Spin. I'm thinking, hang on a second. How the hell we asked Spin? It's a speed tie. Because we're a couple levels above the Boofalon. Fair enough. I mean, Boofalon's not really a really fast Pokemon. I mean, not like it's Counterpart Taurus, but you know, it is what it is. So it'll be. Uh, Bishop! Ooh! 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 Yes! Let's have the matchup! Wait, I'm afraid of her having Brick Break, though. Uh, <laughs> um, because we lost last episode. Oh, uh, non shiny Honchrow beating our shiny Honchrow. All I can say is I hope it doesn't happen this time around, but yo, look at this! Red Ranger vs Blue Ranger! Alright, I do like this matchup though. Okay, so X is is neutral. Now, whether this Bishop has Brick Break, I don't know. We do have Speed Death for X Cizar. That does a little damage, but you have also X Cizar. So it looks like it's just going to be a friendly exchange, but for some reason, it feels like your exes are doing a bit more. No I know why. Why does it feel like your exes are doing just a little bit more? I don't get that. Okay. I'm going to take this opportunity to Swords Dance, because I'm pretty sure this Bishop is going to go for another ex are and try to kill me. But hopefully it doesn't kill... It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Good, good, good. Now we'll go ahead and use a max potion, bring ourselves back to full health, which is good. Probably should have done this first, but you know what? You know what? Billy isn't exactly, uh, I can't remember the Red Ranger's name, but you guys know what I mean. Stone Edge! Uh, dumb move, but okay, okay, alright. Now we're at plus two, X as it comes through. And down goes the Bishop! Yeah! Let's go! Whoop whoop! Let's go! Next up is Hydragon! <gasps> Oh, you motherfucker. Don't you think I would have loved to have a high dragon on my team if I could? And you're gonna make me face my mascot? Oh, you nasty motherfucker. Oh, God. Okay, so we're gonna have to swap out into our, our Callum, because really it's the only Pokemon that we can have that can handle high dragon. It's dark, it's dragon, it is amazing. That's why it's my mascot, it is the best. The best dragon. Even though it's Quadwick the Fairy, fuck you to whoever made that fucking delightful suggestion. So we're going to see Dragon Pulse come through here. That's going to do a bit of damage though. Oh, not even half. Okay, let's go Callum. Let's go fucking Callum. I'll tell you what, Callum has been really proving its worth here. This is why I chose you, Callum. Because you're bulky, but you can deliver. That's what I love about you. And we have Zekrom. Okay, let's go ahead and swap it to Sydney. You know what? Usually I'm afraid about the big dragon here, but you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm cool with it. I mean, it's not like this Zekrom has anything that I need to be afraid of. I mean, yes, it does have a good special attack. I guess if it went for Dragon Meteor, we'd be in a lot of problems. But, considering its main move, uh, Fusion Bolt, can't hit us. That's great. Let's go for Earthquake. Let's see what Zekrom wants to do here. Well, first of all, we have speed. So that's always a good start. Against this Zekrom over here. And we're just going to clean it. Okay, was that a crit? That had to be a crit. It was a crit. I knew it. I knew it. No way would an Earthquake from Crookedile, I mean look, I love Crookedile, but no way would a Crookedile be able to one hit KO a Zekron without a crit. And sure enough, it was a crit. And we're getting across the board. I couldn't have been defeated by some random trainer from who knows where. Uh, bitch, I ain't no random trainer, don't fuck with me. What? I create Team Plasma with my own hands. I'm absolutely perfect. I am perfection. Wow, that's a classic cell quote. I'm the perfect ruler of a perfect new world. You're lost. Now please step aside. This cannot be possible. I will not accept this. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't get it, do you? I can't be defeated. I won't be. It cannot be allowed. You, tiny intruder. If you value this girl's life, throw aside all your Pokeballs at this moment. You cowardly. Sharpedo, please don't listen to him. Shut your mouth! What's this? Your Pokeballs are shaking. Could it be that they're shaking with rage? No matter. Throw away all your Pokeballs right this instant. I refuse! Were you not listening, or did you simply not understand? Well, you leave me no choice. This girl must. Well, I see you are still dedicated to your own desires, Gettys. You! It has been a while. Miss Lily, it is good to see you again. We ran to each other in the lab, perhaps you recall? Mr. Chorus? And you, Sharpina. We meet again. 
Miss Ricky has sent word that you may need assistance. You will have to forgive my rudeness, but I followed your trail using an invisibility device I recently invented. It seems Getus here has caused you quite some trouble, although it appears that Getus is from a different world than the one I know. Of course, the colors of this world, but you should have no reason to meddle my plans. Oh, please. I simply despise you, Getus. That's enough reason for me. What's this? My body's being pulled! No! No! And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> it seems like Rapadius is not a problem, even with a prototype. I should have known Chorus Machine number 1102 would work. Thanks for helping us, Mr. Chorus! But what did you do to that man? I have simply just his dimensional channel, if you will, and sent him back to his original world. But Gantis is a man with power to match his ambition. He's not someone to be taken lightly. I can only hope that the taste of defeat will keep this Gantis out of trouble for this world. Yes! But, turning Aether Paradise back to its original form, with all the different worlds mixing together, this won't be easy, even for me. There is tremendous power of evil at the center of this castle. If we can remove that man's twisted desires, the chorus machine could be able to, should be able to revert everything back to normal. You mean Team Rocket's boss? If we could do something about him, everything would be fixed? Indeed, Miss Lily. You are a very sharp young lady. I would be like to study this castle, however, so I leave the rest of it to you two. Okay, uh, lady. I need to ask, she just does it for me. Thank you. May not be good Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. So that was, uh... That was actually the easiest battle out of all of them. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, guess I thought would probably be one of the harder battles. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty easy. I, that's just me. I'm just saying. Now, we are going up against a team that is prone ground types. I mean, you think about Giovanni, you think of Dugtrio, Nidoking, Nidoqueen, Mewtwo. He has the lot. Now the problem is, half our team is weak to said ground typing. So we have to really time this very carefully. Very, 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 very carefully. Well, we are here. I will say, this castle does look dope. If you don't want to keep the castle this way, I would love to keep it this way. Mother! Well, well. I have been informed of the intruders, but not that there were kids like you. I had allowed the other bosses to do as they wished, hoping they would be of use. But it seems you have defeated all of them. I'm impressed you got here. <laughs> so you, you're Team Rainbow Rockets? Indeed. Team Rocket's goal was to use all the Pokemon and control the world. But now I have a bigger, better organization. Team Rainbow Rocket. And I, Giovanni, am its leader. Mother, are you okay? Mother, please answer! The president will not awaken for some time. Well, what'd you do, did you chloroform her? I have used the power of that Ultra Beast to make her sleep. And when she awakens next, she will be a loyal servant to my will. What? How, how could you? Team Rainbow Rocket will conquer all worlds and will build an army of UBs. But in order for this precious dream to be realized, we need a technology of the Aether Foundation, the technology of other worlds. But I also appreciate the skill it took you to get this far. I like those who show strength. Why not put that strength to good use in my team Rainbow Rocket? Hmm. Should I join the bad guys? Should I become in the team Rocket? Fuck it, let's do it! Hell yeah! Ha! You're calm enough to joke, I see. Yeah, who would join Team Rainbow Rocket? I mean, it is tempting. It is tempting. To be next to Giovanni? Bruh! Having a kid stand in front of me like this. Such a thing should never happen, but for some reason it also makes me feel nostalgic. Hey, shouts to red and yellow and blue. If you insist on disrupting my plans, I'll make you feel a world of pain. I love the Giovanni text in Pokemon Masters. You know, you're finished. Leave this to a grown up. Like, I do love it. And speaking of ground types, the first Pokemon he kicks things off with is a Dugtrio. Okay, so as I said to you guys, this was not going to be easy because I know that Giovanni does rock out with those ground types. Now, the good news is that he's ace, we should have the advantage against because we are the Dark Squad. Go up against the Mewtwo. However, I do believe in this game, it is X in this game. The, uh, Mewtwo X, which actually kind of complicates things, because then it becomes a psychic fighting type. So that would be a definite big problem. And I remember playing Ultra Moon and it was Y, so this one's X. Should be interesting. 
But nevertheless, let us digress. We go for Night Slash, we're going to see Stealth Rock. Okay. So that off the bat, you know, this is going to start to get very prickly, very quick. Night Slash is going to come through, get almost a kill, and we're going to see a full restore. That's why I did not go for the um, Sucker Punch, because I didn't realise if Dugtrio was going to go for full restore or not. But we did get the high roll that time, let's go. We did get the Moxie Boost. That is the other thing that I forgot, is that we do have the Moxie Boost. Right period, okay, that is a problem. Major problem. <laughs> Okay, Callum appears to be the best option for us here. I mean, yes, I do know I'm giving up a Moxie Boost, but we really can't do anything against Rhyperia. I mean, Rhyperia is just a fat wall, okay? Have you not watched him in BGC with weakness policy? Guys, I mean, it is a fucking ball. Let's go for a high jump kick. We don't miss, thank God. And that does jack fucking shite. Wow. But we somehow dodge a 100% earthquake. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to go for Brick Break, a slightly weaker move, and this time the Rhyperia is going to learn its Earthquakes, and that does well over half. Okay, so maybe it was a good thing that we missed. he missed the first Earthquake, but either way, we got through. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. We did take the Rhyperia, that was a fat wall, and I told you guys, Rhyperia was going to be a problem. I wasn't joking. Nido King is next. Okay. So now, um, now, now, now. Okay, Sydney would probably be the best option to go for next because, if I do recall, we do have uh, Nido Queen and Nido King back to back. So, having the um, having our Sydney over here, get the Intimidate drop. Don't know if that's going to really affect this Nido King too much because I'm pretty sure this Nido King does have access to um, some special attacks. I'm pretty sure. Are we okay that Nita King and... I don't think the crit... Yeah, I was going to say. Nita King doesn't have main defense. It's not really a bulky Pokemon, unless you make it bulky. Uh, Nita Queen is next, though. Now, this Pokemon does have the potential to withstand an Earthquake from a Crocodile. Let's go ahead and go for an Earthquake. I'm pretty sure Earthquake won't kill one kid. I'm pretty sure it won't. Was that a crit? I fucking caught it! It was a crit! If it didn't crit, it would have survived. I, I do know that much. I do know that much. It would survive. It would have survived. I do know for a fact. Okay. Here comes the Mewtwo. Okay. Now. Now, 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 now. I'm just trying to think here. We do have three lives on Crocodile and on Bishop. So I think it's in our best interest just to stay in here with the Crocodile. Just to confirm if this is X. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. But I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. So, let's go for Earthquake. Mutant X. It is the Psychic Fighting version. Okay. So, not the best news for us. Because then that means this Mewtwo is going to be a big problem. Especially with moves of Drain Punch. And we survive. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That is a problem. That is definitely a problem. That is definitely a problem. Okay. So now my options. What are my options? What are my options here? Okay. So my options are, I could try to preserve this life. But you know what? It's not really worth it for me to try to preserve one life. I was bound to lose one life eventually. So I'm going to continue... To Earthquake and just let Mugen come in on a clean thing. Because, excuse me, because the last thing I want to happen is for him to get a free recovery, get over half damage in case it does do over half damage. I'm sorry, Sydney, I had to lose a life, it had to happen. Last time I swept with a Lilligant and people got pissy at me for that. And that's like, why? I'm playing the game. Shut up. You want me to play the game, but you don't want me to win the game? What's your problem? Okay, so now we've got ourselves Mewtwo here, down, Withered, let's go for Poison Jab. We're going to see Earthquake come, oh god, this thing has Earthquake. I was not expecting the Earthquake, oh god, oh! <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
Well, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting that. Oh man, that... Oh man, dude. Sucker Punch has to kill. <sighs> should I have gone into Honchkrow? If I didn't know I had Earthquake, I probably should have. But I didn't know I had Earthquake, so... Unfortunately... I did lose my Mitchin. And I'm sad because that was Mitchin's last life. And that really didn't have to happen, but... I did not know we had Earthquake. If I knew I had Earthquake, I would have gone straight to Honchkrow, Sucker Punched, that's it, done. Could I probably done that first? Yes. But I also could have taken a Drain Punch from a Mewtwo and gone for Gunk Shot, and then that's it, because it does our speed, even though I went for Poison Jack. But anyways, so we've lost another Pokemon. Are you guys happy now? I lost a Pokemon, so whoever keeps disliking my videos, go away. Seriously, I've noticed every time I upload a video, within like the first hour or so, someone dislikes the video, and it's like, dude, I know, I think I know who it is. I think I, I shadow blocked this guy from my channel because he kept just being an idiot. It was a nappy support artist, so fuck off. So if you see dislikes, can you hit the like button to cancel his dislike? Much appreciated. I see you have raised your Pokemon with utmost care. It would be foolish to fight such a kid with all my might. Ha! Very well. I will leave Aether Paradise in your hands. But remember, my Team Rainbow Rockets will never fail. Never forget that. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And everything's back to normal. The castle! It's gone! The Kairos machine has been activated and restored the mansion to its original form. Which means, you've done it! You've defeated Team Rocket! Mr. Kairos and Mr. Gosma! Talk you long enough! For a train such as you, who can bring a Pokemon's power through your bonds? It must have been easy. The defeat of Team Rocket's boss seems to have sent everyone who had come with him back to their old worlds. As for me, I have decided on the next theme of my research. Well then, I hope to see you again sometime. Mr. Chorus, he's a truly great scientist, isn't he? Though he is also so very strange. Uh, where am I? Lily? And Sharpina? Man of prayers! Mother! Chopin defeated Team Rocket for us! What? He did? It must have been terribly dangerous. He did! It was really amazing! Well, Sharpino, it seems you've saved the day once again. I am truly grateful. Mr. Faber? Bah! P -p president I'm glad that you I'm glad that you're safe. Oh, I still feel a bit dizzy, but what of you, Father? Are you unhurt? Oh yes, of course. No need to worry yourself about me, President. I'm just glad that you're safe. Mother, Mr. Barbara's now, now, Miss Lily. You must still be rattled by all this confusion and chaos caused by Team Rainbow Rocket. I would never do such a thing as betray the Foundation and invite Team Rocket in just to advance my career. Branch Chief Faber. I... I'm sorry! So you should be, you douche. You idiot. Seriously, I can't stand people like that. Oh, Sharpino, like, some, thank you so much for your assistance in saving Aether Paradise. Mother's in the medical room now. They're running some checks, but it seems she's going to be fine. Oh, and about Mr. Faber? Come on, Faber. Put your back into it. Ugh. Uh, why must I be the one doing such mean or mundane chores? Come on, intern, father. We don't have all day. Intern? Please don't call me by that title! I don't think like he will return to his position of branch chief anytime soon. Oh, and before that I forget, please take these. 55 big nuggets. 
hot damn, hot payday, baby. I like imagine Team Rainbow Rocket plan to use that as his funding. They hit a whole bunch of the president's room. They're all yours. Hey, Miss Wiki, please just help me a little. Uh, right away. I will like see you later. Hey, the parents are back to business as usual, and it's all thanks to you, Shopina. I was worried about Mother, and just terrified of those Team Rocket people. But to be honest, having another adventure with you, Shopina, it was a lot of fun. I really, really am grateful. I'm gonna do my own island challenge. It would be great if I could do it with you, Shopina. But I guess now it's time for me to go. I'll see you again soon. And somehow, I don't think it's done. There he is. Mr. Giovanni's still there. Ha! Huh, that boy has quite some talent. Now, what new world shall I unleash my evil schemes upon? It's funny how he can, he's the only one that can control how he goes. Just He just fooled everyone thinking he left. But maybe Giovanni's not as weak as... Well, not weak, but maybe he has more technology than what he gives us allusion to. And that is the end of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Rainbow Rocket Saga. That is the end. But ladies and gentlemen, it's not over yet. It is not over yet. Do you know why, ladies and gentlemen? There is one more episode left to go. We will take on all the Elite Four and the Champion for the second time with ramped up Pokemon, with Mega Evolutions, so you know this will be the last ultimate test of this Let's Play, of our Dark Squad. Can we finally get to the end? I know we don't have to do this, but I figured we're going to finish it, we're going to finish it with the Big Bang, and what better way to do it than against the Elite Four, and the freaking Champion, and all that, with pumped up Pokemon. Mega Evolutions, and all. So I will say to you guys, Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure to like button down below because as always, just let's go. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Ultra Sun Monarch Shining Lock. It will be the final episode. Next episode, that is it. Ding dong nada. It's done. Then we can move on to other projects I have. And I can give you guys a big update video and let you guys know what's been going on with me because the guys, there has been a lot that's been going on. And I mean, maybe you guys may have noticed from all the lack of videos there, here and there. And I do apologize for that. It wasn't my intention to kind of leave you guys hanging uh, for videos and all that. But a lot of things have been going on. I've been trying to do a lot of shine hunting on Sword and Shield. Having some bad luck there. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really just trying to get ready for my move. Because I am moving houses, if you guys don't know. Um, if you guys are new here, um, like I said, I am moving house in about a month or so. So I'm just making sure I get everything together. So if you guys do notice some videos going, don't be too uh, impatient. I've got plenty of other content for you guys to watch in the meantime until I come back. But don't be too impatient. I'll try to be back as quick as I can with content for you guys. So, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like the button down below. Because as always, just a pause great. Hey, Shad. I think I already said that. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Mario Channel Log. And play the subscription down below. Check out the channel if you do like uh, other shiny content, other Let's Plays. Uh, as well. And question of the day, seeing as I'm a fan of Nuzlocke's, what is a unique challenge rule that you could recommend either myself or a PokerTuber to try? Personally, one of the favorite rules that I have done on this let's play on this channel once was playing X and Y doing the Safari challenge. And that is you replace your encounters with Safari encounters. And then you've got to get the Pokemon adjusted accordingly. I know it's a, it's a bit of a stupid thing, but it does work to some extent. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty fun, and um, you know, that was fun. Also, I did like the Zelda Lock, funny enough, another game I played on X. And you have 300 rupees, and you have to use the rupees for encounters. Um, every time you beat a trainer, you get a boost. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff. But I did enjoy it. So, the Zelda Lock and the Safari Lock. And the Safari Lock is something I created myself, so it's a lot of fun too. And the Zelda Lock, I think someone else created a few years ago, but I figured, hey, I'll give it a go. So, leave a comment below. If you have an idea of either a personally made challenge run for a Pokemon game or of a challenge run that someone else has done and you think I should give it a go. Who knows? It could be the next project. So until next time I see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I will catch you guys all next time. Later!